it's the Bible's fault. The reason that most people believe that Canaan was only inhabited by Jewish people or people who worshiped Yahweh in one particular way is because the inverted history. And what I mean by inverted history is when the dust settles, all you have to do is erase a few lines, reword some things, add some text in order to fit your narrative. So in the first century, Canaan was inhabited by so many different influences, not just people, but influences that were coming from Persia, from Rome, from the Mediterranean, from the North in Assyria, from the South in Egypt. Canaan was like a cultural hub. So many ideas floating around. In Jesus' time, during the first century, there were so many sects, sects, not sex, sects, that were vying for authority. And they did not like each other. <laughs> they were taking each other out. Which is one of the reasons that Jesus became a refugee as a child. Let's sidetrack to the Elephantine Papyri for just a second. So that was written somewhere in the 4th, possibly 5th, but let's just say 4th century BCE and its communications between the Jewish people who lived on the island of Elephantine to those who were in authority in Jerusalem. Now, what they're asking of the authorities in Jerusalem is to rebuild the temple to Yahweh, which is very strange because we're told that worship of Yahweh was centralized in Jerusalem. So why would there be a temple in Elephantine? Oh, and we can't forget to mention that they also worshipped other gods. Oopsies. And one of those gods was a female. Warrior and hunting goddess Anat. So the biblical narrative intentionally erases those diverse voices. It's a testament to the fact that Judaism has never been a monolith, and neither has Canaan been. In the first century, worship of El and Baal were still very popular. It wasn't just Yahweh. And according to the New Testament, if you believe that it's about Jesus and his words and actions, da 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 da, da you know, I mean, you can believe what you want to believe, but if you believe it to be true, he is always out and about with the Gentiles, healing and preaching. What, they're not allowed to live and exist in Canaan now? Even though the biblical authors obviously hate the indigenous people, the Canaanites, they were there. The fact that they write pejorative stories proves that they were there. How, how do we just overlook that? And please do not for a second think that I am not just as pissed off as you are about what happened to the temple and to the Jewish people. That fucking shit is horrible. Occupation sucks. But every person in Canaan suffered. Not just one group. You cannot just erase people because it doesn't fit your narrative. And you cannot erase people just because they're not worshiping your God the way you want them to. That's fucking ridiculous. Long story short, that inverted history does not only hurt Canaanites. It hurts Jewish people as well because it erases those voices who deserved to exist and should not have been snuffed out simply because they didn't worship Yahweh the elitist way. And yeah, I've seen the data and it makes absolute sense because it was never a land without people. If anybody watching has enjoyed this video, this is about somebody who is just like a goddess because she is very powerful and helped save her entire family, but she still needs us to support her. Just as Jesus was, her family are now refugees in Egypt and they need this community to help them get to safety. Yasmin deserves all the accolades and support she can get.